So I've been a long time fan of Battlefront, like way back when. And it made me so sad though, because I didn't have internet at the time. No, I was that kid that had to play against bots, which was fun in its own right, but it was no multiplayer, that's for sure. So needless to say, I was really pumped when uh, EA first announced Battlefront. However, that really didn't go as well as I was hoping. Uh, not gonna get into that here, but, you know, we're all thinking it. Look how old you've become. Something far worse has happened to you. Yeah, I got pretty grim there. You know, lost a lot of hope. Sure, I could just buy it again, but have you seen Battlefront 2 on eBay and other websites? It's expensive. I thought my dreams were crushed. However, I was happily surprised. Needless to say, I was pretty excited. However, I was still in my same position before where I can't really play it online. However, it's the modern day. Thanks to a program called X-Link Kai, I can play the LAN mode online, despite Xbox Live being disabled. Now, you might want to join me, and that is great. You might be asking how difficult it is to install X-Link Kai, and the answer is actually pretty simple. It's mostly plug and play. You just need an ethernet cord and you're pretty much good to go. First things first is you'll need X-Link Kai. Pretty straightforward. Just go here, download it, and create an account. Note though that certain email domains do not work with X-Link Kai. I don't know why, um, but Google's email domain will work. Then you will plug in an ethernet cable into the back of your Xbox and into the back of your PC. I've heard people say that you can do it wirelessly, but I wouldn't recommend that because then your Xbox is wirelessly transmitting to your modem, to your PC, then back out. You know, it's a, it's a lot of steps. Once you install Xlink Kai and get it working, uh, you will click on it to boot it up. And you must do this before you start the game. Uh, I'm not sure if that is the case, but... When I started my Xbox first, uh, I had a hard time joining games, so I would just recommend you get the tunneling program up first. So you know it'll work when you see your Xbox One appear here. Um, naturally, I haven't started my Xbox yet, like I said. Um, you will go to, to join a Battlefront game, you'll go to Game Arenas. You will click on the Xbox. And, uh, oh, here it is. You could also click on shooters, but I'm going to just click on this shortcut. And then you'll notice here a list of games. If you want to create a game of your own, like there's no one here, you can come in here to set that up. However, I'm going to join their game. Oh, I can't do that because I have a password. <laughs> okay, uh, I will create a game then. You must be in a room before you uh, start your Xbox. Alright, we are done here, and now we will go power up our Xbox. Once you get the game going, uh, it should appear in X-Link Kai. You'll notice you now have an Xbox One in your found consoles list. Uh, just once you get into the game, start up a LAN game. Xbox Live is still down, people. This is technically a LAN, so... There you have it. Unfortunately, I was not able to capture video of a game there weren't people on, but I've 
already posted about it, and you've probably seen it. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you soon. Uh, see you on the battlefield, soldiers.